Detroit Lions fans, we try to let it go, but they keep on throwing it back in our face. Okay? This is this video, right? Listen, the NFL is scrambling right now. We, we got two videos coming out, okay? And I'm going to release them pretty much back to back because I want to go ahead and catch this. I want to get this over with. And as long as the NFL lets it be, which they will not, every single day since the game, more and more things have come out. So this particular video right here, we have Fox analyst, former NFL uh, rules, he was the head of officiating, Dean Blandino. He now works for, for Fox. You see him all the time. You saw him during the XFL as well. This guy is, he, he's, it, I just, I can't even, he is claiming to be a Lions fan. And we're going to react. We're going to play this, this video in its entirety. It is from a, a Twitter account, credit Quinn Trisha Suck, okay? Very familiar term to us Lions fans. We're going to break this thing down. I'm going to give you my thoughts about what's going on here. Here's Dan, Dean Blandino. And, <laughs> I mean, did they pay this dude? I have never seen Dean Blandino ever rep being a Detroit Lions fan, but let's listen to it. What's up, everyone? Dean Blandino from Fox Sports. This is a message to Lions Nation, Lions and Lions fans all over the country, all over the world. Okay, so I'm sorry. Lions Nation? Like, you really don't hear that a lot. I have never, ever, ever referred to any of our fan base as Lions Nation. I know we see it here and there, some of these AI channels, but nobody ever says Lions Nation. So that's one. But let's let's continue. World. And, uh, and we've been a tortured fan base. And yes, that's right. I'm, I'm part of Lions Nation. And you part of Lions Nation? Are you serious? Okay, listen. I'm going to let this play out. Lions Nation. I'm part of Lions. Bruh. He does, he, you know what he did? He looked at one of these AI YouTube channels. And, and said, you know what? They must call themselves Lions Nation. Nobody does that. Nobody does that, Dean. Lions Nation. So Dean Blandino is claiming to be part of Lions Nation. Are you serious? Okay, let's continue. I'm sorry, y'all. This thing had me irate. And it's been a, a long, brutal history at times. You think of 0-16. You think of drafting three receivers in the first round and having only one of them work out. We've, we've had three separate times the longest field goal record broken against us in 1963 Tom Dempsey with the 63 yard field goal against Okay okay so let let me, let me go back here 19 watch okay let me I saw this Matt hold on Crater hit a 64 yard field goal Hold on I got I got to go I know I know y'all want me to play it first first round Okay hold on and having only one of them work out we've we've had three separate times the longest field goal Record broken against us in 1963, Tom Dempsey. With this okay, so in my opinion, in my opinion, and I'm going full-blown conspiracy here. In my opinion, this dude is looking down. It is something on his keyboard or the, 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 the table underneath. He's looking down, and he does this several times during this video. All right? I hate to be this guy. But the NFL is making this worse by trying to make it better. Everyone knows what this is. And I'm telling you, they got exposed on Saturday night and they're trying to sweep this under the rug. It is what it is. We all know what the NFL is. Everyone has known. Okay. This guy is looking that he just watch. So as you're listening to some of this stock stuff that he's saying, keep an eye on his eyes. I'm going to try not to stop this a lot, but I, I want to react to this as well. The 63-yard field goal against the Lions. Then in 2013, Matt Prater hit a 64-yard field goal to take the record against the Lions. And then, probably most painfully, 2021, walk-off game-winning field goal, Justin Tucker from 66 yards, NFL record 66 yards, against the Detroit Lions in Coach Dan Campbell's third game as head coach back in 2021, we've dealt with in 2015, which was a particularly rough year, 2015, Calvin Johnson fumbling near the goal line. The ball goes into the end zone. Seattle defender bats it out of the end zone. The Wait a minute. 2015. No, no. You're a Lions fan. 
Dean. You're supposed to know this. This is all stock stuff that he either rehearsed or is reading from somewhere. No, no, no. No, no, no. Every Lions fan, that's the last time we went to the playoffs, Dean, and that was 2016. Okay? He's actually confusing one of the things that he said. Now, I make mistakes in my videos. I do it all the time. I'll say tomato and mean tomato. I do it all the time. You guys correct me nonstop. I appreciate it because that tells me you're listening to the video. Okay? But this is all standard stuff. This is not a, a this is a, not a mistake. This is a, he is, are you kidding? Dean Blandino, you've never, ever, he's never, ever shown that he's a fan to any team. I've never seen it, and I've been watching football a long time. I'm not trying to call the man a liar, but 25th, okay, so let's go back a little bit. Let me go back a little bit because I want to hear what he has to say. So 2015 was not the bat out of the back of the end zone. That was 2016. Now, he might be talking about the 2016 playoffs. Playoffs? He could be talking about that because the following year was 2017, and we didn't go. But you got to get it right, bro. You got to get it right. Seattle defender bats it out of the end zone. The officials miss the call, and uh, Seattle gets the football. The Lions go on to lose that game. Aaron Rodgers, the Just second down chance again. Hail Mary. That game. Aaron Rodgers, the second chance Hail Mary call. And uh, Seattle gets the football. The Lions go on to lose that game. Aaron Rodgers, literally, the second chance. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. He's literally looking down. Right here. His eye, that is not a blink. He is looking down at something on his, his desk. Okay, all right. Go on to lose that game. Aaron Rodgers, the second chance Hail Mary. Phantom face mask call on the last play of the game gives the Packers an untimed down, and they hit the Hail Mary to beat the Lions in prime time. You can go back to 2002 when Marty Morningwig, in overtime against the Bears, took the wind, not the ball, took the wind, and we end up losing the game on a first possession field goal. In 2010, back to my man Calvin Johnson against the Bears, the game-winning touchdown ripped from our hands and the pass was ruled incomplete because he didn't complete the process of the catch. There you go again. And then back to 2015 most. Hold on. There you go again. Looking down again. The process of the catch. And then back to 2015 most. All right. So I, I got to say this. He's real good. I mean, if you're on TV and you're in front of a camera, kind of like me, right? You're real good. You are real good. Okay. If I'm, he, he knows that if he puts it off to the side at this point, Dean, get a teleprompter. But in order to try to keep it seem natural, okay, he is looking down. Because if you read a tel teleprompter, your eyes going to tell a story. They're going to tell a story because you're going to be looking, you're going to be reading. you got to be real good at a teleprompter because you're looking through what you're also reading. All right? If you put it off to the side, it's going to be very obvious. The, look, the NFL is not even trying at this point. Okay. Okay, yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Probably most painfully on the verge of a playoff victory at home against the Cowboys in the wild card round, driving down the field, third down, Matthew Stafford to Brandon Pettigrew. The pass falls incomplete, but there's a flag down for pass interference against Anthony Hutchins, and the Lions are going to get a first down and have a chance to run more clock off, maybe put some more points on the board and take that that playoff victory, the first playoff victory in a very long time home. And instead, after the announcement, the officials get together, talk about it, and pick up the flag, and the Cowboys go on to win the game. And there it goes as again. If that wasn't bad enough. There it goes again. Another glance down is right there. It's right there, man. He's literally looking down at something on his desk, and I'm gonna keep pointing it out every single time he does it. The game, and as if that wasn't bad enough against the Cowboys last Saturday night, most recently. End of game, down by one. Coach Campbell, we're going for two. We're going for the win on the road. We okay, I got to say this. This whole we thing, we, we, no, Dean, there is no we. It's only us. You are not included in that. You are not included in that. Okay? No. But, okay, let's continue. We got the number one seed at stake here in the NFC and an incredible play. 
the tackle eligible play to Taylor Decker for the, the two point try. And the Lions are going to get the victory after driving down the field to, to take that touchdown. And now we're going to win the game 21 20. But wait a minute. The official- okay, hold on, hold on. You, you, you see how he's saying the Lions. Most fans are going to say we. And now we are going to get. I remember that being a debate. Can fans say, can fans use the word we like they're part of the team? Absolutely. But that's, that's a little slip up from Dean, the Lions flan, fan, Blandino. Okay, y'all. We almost done. Officials throw the flag, and they're going to say that 68 did not report, that Taylor Decker did not report, that Dan Skipper actually reported. And the crew, the officials, broke our hearts again, took the win. Okay, first of all, Dean, get some water or something, bro. Get some water or something. Because maybe maybe his mouth is so dry because he's lying. This is a bold-faced lie. And broke our hearts again. And now we're out of the two seed, and now it's going to be an uphill battle. Okay, we- there's another one. See, see, listen, Lions fans, if you're, a, a, if you're a fraud, you can see through this. We're out of the two seed. No, we're not, Dean. No, we're not. Because Lions fans know that we still have a shot at the two seed. What do we need to do, Lions fans? Let's say it together. We need Dallas to lose. We also need the Philadelphia Eagles to lose. And we also need to beat the Minnesota Vikings. Come on, Dean. You rehearsed this several times. How can you get this stuff wrong? Listen, if you want to watch it uninterrupted, the link will be in my description, okay? I'm sorry, man. I have to point this stuff out. We almost done. As we head into the playoffs, we still got the division. But this is the message to Lions fans. We can't let the officials, we can't let them control our destiny. We control our destiny. We have to go out. We have to not put it in the (laughs) officials' hands, just like in a prize fight. In the UFC, boxing, don't leave it in the judges' hands. Let's go out and let's win the damn Super Bowl and not worry about the officials. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Dean. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is Hey, hey, listen, y'all. The whole script commercials preseason, right? They, they making fun of it. Arian Foster brought this up a year ago, and it was a joke and all that other stuff. Let's win the – hold on. I need to hear him say that again. I need to hear him say that again. Hold on. Listen to what he says fight in the UFC boxing don't leave it in the judges hands let's go out and let's win the damn Super Bowl and not worry about the officials let's win the Super Bowl let's win the Super Bowl somewhere we ain't never been and all the analysts the only people saying that we are Super Bowl con- contenders perhaps are Lions fans that's it because I'm here you oh, can't that's... handle the truth sorry that's the wrong one that's the wrong one hold on where we at Where is it at? How can I not have the sound bite? See, I should have had it. I should have had it queued up. Okay. But okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. And let's go out and let's turn it around and let's make this history that I just went through. Go out the window, toss it into the trash. Because when we, when we hold up that Vince Lombardi trophy, none uh, of we, that uh, is going to be on Saturday. Uh, boom, 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 boom. You can't even get it out. Toss it into the trash because when we when we hold up oh, that boom, boom. Vince Lombardi uh, Listen, trophy, I've stumbled over. Of- listen, I have stumbled many a times. Many a times. Uh, he couldn't eat. Uh, woo, woo, uh, woo, woo, because he could He know what he's saying. It's, man, come on, bro. All right. That is going to matter. Not what happened on Saturday night. Not what happened in 1970 when Tom Dempsey kicked that field goal or 2015 or 2002 or 2010. It's not going to matter when we win the Super Bowl. That's my message, Lions fans. Stay, stay the course. All right, we're going to win it all. We're going to win the Super Bowl here, and uh, and all that other stuff. That bad history goes out the window. All right, let's go. Let's stay together. Let's stick together. Don't let the officials get to us, and let's win a Super Bowl. Take care. What? What? So he said Super Bowl about five or six times, man. I mean, they could have at least hired somebody. With a better acting talent, you could have hired me. I would have done pretty well. And I know this video is going long, but I had it. And if you want to watch the uninterrupted video, the link is in my description. Our, the, the NFL is on a whole different level. And I've been telling you that we're going to win the Super Bowl very soon because the narrative is changing. Dean Blandino has never in my, that I can remember, has ever said he was a Detroit Lions fan. We're going to win the Super Bowl. And you know what else? You know what else? See, you messed up, Dean. You messed up because you're talking to a real Lions fan right here. You messed up.
All right? You messed up. Because he didn't mention the, there are things, he, he, he didn't say nothing about the NFC North. The fact that we didn't win until this year. Every Lions fan is going to say that. A week after we won it, you're not going to mention that? You're also not going to mention the fact that we've never been to a Super Bowl. Every Lions fan know that. There are three things that you know we've never won a Super Bowl. We've never been a Super Bowl to a Super Bowl. And until this year, we've never, I'm sorry, four things. We've never uh, won the NFC North. And until this year, we also have never hosted a playoff game. And a real, legitimate, sincere Lions fan, those are the first thing that they talk about. All right? And one day, very soon, y'all, that's going to be a narrative that's gone as well. Okay? Dean Blandino, hot mess. Who put him up to this? But guess what? The next video is even better than this one. And they're going to pretty much stack on top of each other because, A, I want to get these out. And, B, tomorrow is the new league week. And unless they they up to something else, we're not going to talk about it no more. But this next video here, this, this next video here, bro, is an expose on the National Football League. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Again, link is in the Twitter if you want to watch it uninterrupted. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.